Good, this is a demo of uh, how to create a 2D horizon cube in a faulted section. We have a special workflow for that. Starting my machine learning control center, I only have 2D seismic in this project, so I only get to see the 2D workflows, and I'm going to create a horizon cube for a single line. I need to specify the seismic line, I need to specify the steering cube, and I also have interpreted fault sticks, which I will also show. And these faults are forbid to cross, that means that the horizons will actually stop against these faults when they are tracked. I'm going to track a top and a base framework horizon. Let me give it a nice color for the top. And I'll just pick this horizon here as my main event. It's just following the steering cube until it hits. It's the faults and then it continues. So bear with me if you don't like my interpretation. This is just for demo purposes. And now I'm going to add the base horizon. I'm also going to change this color. And I'm going to pick this event as my base horizon. And again, you may not agree 100% with what I'm picking here. Hang on. Oh shit, wrong one. Undo. This is because I'm not having a mouse and I'm working with a touchpad, which is pretty lousy for this type of work. Anyways, we've done it. I have my horizons. And uh, now I'm going to create my horizon cube. And this will be done Horizon cube zero uh, zero one test. Okay, this will be done on a block by block basis, and because it's done on a block by block basis, uh, you will see that these are not correlated everywhere. I have red and yellow colors over here, but I don't have these in the base here, whereas these should be correlated. So I'm going to correlate these in a second phase. I, it asks me now, do you want to have it displayed in the wheeler scene as well? I say yes, so it's going to flatten my seismic data and show me the wheeler scene as well. And then we can at least see if we get flat events. And I think we will see that indeed it's pretty flat, but you can also see it's not correlated because this black horizon here should be correlated across all these fault blocks. And that's what we're going to do next. So step now is how to correlate. And I'm going to correlate the regions and I'm doing that on a block by block basis. So I have these sliders and I'm going to find this big black event because that is something I can really correlate. And I'm going to correlate it block by block. There we are. There we are. And I only have five sliders, so now I have to move my sliders to get to the next two regions. And there is my black event again. And for the last one. There it is. So I can do this for as many events as I want. I'm going to create a new horizon cube. 001 test correlated. I'm going to run it. It has now correlated everything. And there is my correlated horizon cube. So let's see how good we have been doing this. I'm going to view my wheeler scene as well. 
is vertically uh, let me move this a little bit so and change the, the C scale so that I can see it we the seen there we are so we see not 100% correlated so we should have done a slightly better job but at least the idea should be clear now I can use my slider and notice that I am correlating much better than before and that's how you create a 2D horizon cube in a vaulted section thank you very much